Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annette and today I am continuing in my Pat or Toss YouTube series. I am going to be reviewing the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer, which is a very, very popular skincare item. And I'm very excited to talk about it because I have been using it for quite some time and have some things to say about it as well. So I'm gonna let you all know if this is a product that I think that you should pat on your skin or if it's a product that I think that you should simply toss. Now before we get into that today, if you've been watching any of my other videos and you're here to watch this video, please kindly consider liking this video, sharing, commenting, and as well subscribing to my channel. I have new videos for you each week right here. So there's not much sun for us today, so I might be looking a little bit weirdly lit because the sun is just, you know, coming in, going out, doing whatever it wants to do. It's okay. That's the sun's business. I'm not going to judge. So you're just going to see a lot of different lighting, most likely in this video. Get over it. Okay. So first I'm going to talk about what a moisturizer is. Now a moisturizer is one of the most important components of anybody's skincare routine. After you added all of your hydrators, your antioxidants, your, all of the serums in the world onto your skin, a moisturizer makes sure that all of those things stay in place. A moisturizer locks in hydration onto the skin, which keeps the skin hydrated and active all day. So why we also want moisturized skin is because if you don't moisturize your skin, it becomes dry, it becomes flaky, the skin barrier starts to become compromised as well, which can cause things like wrinkles, aggravated acne, um, flaky skin as I mentioned earlier, and just in general a dull complexion on the skin. So you want to make sure that you have a very good moisturizer in your routine for your skin type. The way that I kind of learned about the moisturizer that I need is I would wait and see until the end of the day and then I would touch my skin. And if my skin felt more oily, I realized I was more of the oily skin type. If it felt more dry, I was like, oh, okay, this is more of a dry skin type. For myself, my skin is mostly oily at the end of the day, meaning it's still feeling a little bit um, uh, I guess it has like a slip on it. But at the same time, moisturizers, to be honest with you, can be used between skin types. For instance, I have oily skin, but I can still use heavy moisturizers, both in the winter and in the summer. I, it just depends on what my skin feels like on that day. So that's just a tip for myself that I like to tell people as well. So now I'm gonna talk about the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Um, on the Milk Makeup website, the description is a bit long. So I'm just gonna to read to you how the product is described on Sephora. Sephora says, this is a nourishing daily moisturizer with a propriety blend of vegan milks for complete yet lightweight hydration, antioxidant benefits, and smoother, softer looking skin. So that is their description for this moisturizer. Now, as I usually do with all my videos, I'm going to talk about the ingredients. Now, ingredients are really important. They're a great source of information for yourself and for your skin. Ingredients are great as well to let you know if you have any allergies, it lets you know what you might react to. The way that I review ingredients for my channel is I like to look at the top five ingredients. This is because from the ingredient list top down, the ingredients listed first are the ones that are most featured within the product. So I like to look at the top five ingredients simply because of time. <laughs> So I'm going to talk about those ingredients right now using the Polish Choice Ingredient List Dictionary. The first ingredient for this product is water. So water is great, hydration, we're going to skip over that and go to the next ingredient. The second ingredient is cetyl alcohol. It is an emollient. This is an ingredient that helps to keep the skin hydrated. You're going to see within this top five ingredient list, all of the ingredients are focused on hydration and locking in moisture for the skin. The second ingredient is squalane. Now, you might remember squalane from the skin's naturally producing squalene. Squalene with an E is what is naturally produced in our skin's sebum and our skin's oil. It helps to keep the skin hydrated. It helps, it helps with the skin cell renewal process as well on the skin. So squalane with an A is what they have made because it is one that lasts better. We know how it responds better for the skin as well. So squalane is an antioxidant. It has skin smoothing and skin restoring properties as well. It's also really great for hydration. So it's kind of like a magical product. It's kind of like a magical ingredient, if you will. Fourth ingredient is capric triglyceride, and I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. Let's just skip that. Now this is an ingredient that is derived from coconut and glycerin. Glycerin, as we all know, is a humectant. It helps to hold on to hydration on the skin. 
Now, this Capric triglyceride, again, probably not pronouncing that properly, this is an ingredient. This is an ingredient that is a texture enhancer and it also resists moisture loss. So it's a really great ingredient and it's, again, tied to the hydration, tied to making sure the skin is moisturized as well. The fifth ingredient is stearic acid, which is also an ingredient that is tied to resisting moisture loss on the skin. So the entire top five ingredient list, as I mentioned earlier, is completely and entirely focused on making sure the skin is moisturized throughout the day. And it also has antioxidant properties as well. So you know that it's great for skin cell renewal. It's great for improving a dull complexion. It's great for wrinkles. So you have a lot of benefits um, in the top five ingredients and throughout this product uh, dictionary as well. Okay. So I use this product twice a day, every single day. It is definitely lightweight as they described, so you don't have to worry about applying it in the morning. But if you are someone who has oilier skin, or if you are someone who doesn't take well to thick moisturizers, even if it breaks down to feel lightweight, you might want to use it at night. But I haven't had any issues using it twice a day, every single day. I'm sure you're all wondering, is this a product that I should pat on my skin or toss? Definitely, this is a product that you should pat on your skin. It lives up to the hype that all of the reviewers have already talked about. This is a product that I have mentioned is lightweight, but it is so hydrating. It's also thick, it's buildable. If you feel like you apply it on your skin and you want a little bit more, you can add more. You really don't need to use that much with this product. It spreads very evenly across the skin, neck, and I use it down on my chest area as well. And I haven't found that it has come near the end in over a month's use. This is also a product that has no scent really to it. It uh, does not irritate the skin. I think this would be a great product for sensitive skin as well. I haven't had any issues in using it and I've used it on parts of my body like my elbow for instance which can get dry and I haven't had any issues and my body care is rather focused on my sensitive skin so I haven't had any reactions or flare-ups with this product on body care on face care as well so I want to mention that uh, for anyone who might be a multi-use person when it comes to skincare so then this product, I also really, really, really admire the packaging. I think it's so cool. I mean, look at it. It's just so cool. It's so reflective. Um, and then it's very easy to use. You just take it, unscrew it, pop it up. And then it also has this protective area here as well. So you can then remove that and there's your product. I'm pretty much finished. So I have noticed that I thoroughly enjoy this product because of that. And I just love the packaging, I love the use of it, and my skin stays hydrated and my skin stays moisturized for the entire day. You do not need to worry about reapplying this onto the skin. Um, I also don't get any dry patches and usually a dry area for me on my skin is around the mouth area. With this product I have noticed that I've had to go ahead and like damp and pat anything onto the skin. So definitely really proud of that for them. So that's all I have to say about this product. It's a great product. I think you should all go get it. I also think it should be good for different skin types. You know, it is definitely heavy on application, but it definitely dries down to be rather lightweight on the skin. You don't feel it when it's on your skin. And like I mentioned before, it's super, super easy to spread evenly all across the skin. So you're not gonna find yourself having to reapply or, you know, double back when, you're, when you put it on. So that's all I have to say about this vegan milk moisturizer. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in today. I'm trying to make sure my videos aren't as long as they usually are. So let me know if that's working for you all. But that's all I have to say about the milk moisturizer. I hope you all are doing great. Please consider liking this video, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I have new videos each week and I promise that I'll work on the sun. I'll talk to the sun and uh, the videos in the future should be lit up properly, even better. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.